Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my Sustainable Energy channel and today we have the arrival long-awaited, eagerly awaited Victron EV charger that I will be reviewing. So thanks to uh, Chris uh, at um, Avatar and uh, to Kat from uh, Victron South Africa for uh, arranging a, a demo model for me. Um, just uh, as a disclaimer, I'm not being paid by Victron. This will be an impartial uh, non-biased review and let's get the box open and see what's inside. Uh, this is both a single and three phase device I believe and um, I will be testing it alongside uh, my existing EV charger which is a uh, Zappi charger made by my energy uh, as a comparison and I will also be uh, just using my BMW i3 as a uh, reference vehicle for charging. So. Um, this has been eagerly awaited. I'm very keen to get this set up and configured uh, and use it in conjunction with my ESS or energy storage system, also uh, managed by my Victron inverters. So I've even got the Victron shirt on today. So, pretty rugged looking device. I believe uh, IP6 rated. Um, this one will be in my garage, will not be external, but uh, it can be mounted externally. Uh, nice to see the uh, colour display and um, looking forward to getting it connected up and uh, running through the configuration setup. Okay, so let's get the sucker open. Ah, nice uh, stainless steel screws, non posy interesting. So I'll get the cover off and let's see what's inside. Okay, designed in the Netherlands, Yiltemal Vondelok, made in Asia. Right, nice uh, silicon seal all the way around. I guess that that's going to keep the water out. Uh, first impressions, uh, nice uh, heavy duty gland, looks like a 32 mil uh, gland. I see there's a little breather pipe here or a water pipe that will allow any uh, water to drain out of the CCS socket in the front. Um, what else can we see? Uh, Wi-Fi antenna, that's nicely mounted, that should give us good range. Um, obviously uh, CT clamps uh, to monitor current, uh, three in single and uh, three phase obviously. Um, L1, 2, L3, L4 neutral, protective earth. Um, yeah, pretty uh, compact really, uh, quite a uh, compact board, obviously some big relays on there. I'm not sure about pen fault protection, obviously um, Zappi, My Energy Products, uh, UK regs insist on pen fault, protective with uh, neutral uh, failure um, conditions, fairly rare condition but uh, can be fatal if uh, an EV is not uh, grounded. Um, so. Not quite sure how that's covered by Victron. I'll have to investigate that. I would imagine uh, we'll probably have to provide that protection on the supply side. So just for consistency, here are a few high resolution images from the Victron website. Okay, so here we go. First fire up, blinking screen. Uh, and I believe there's a QR code that's displayed uh, on startup so that you can actually get the Wi-Fi connected. It's also a sticker that comes in the box. And uh, yeah, nice LCD screen. Hopefully I'll be able to see uh, my other Victron devices on there. Right, device is now installed, uh, connected to a single phase uh, um, supply which is actually connected um, directly to the AC2 output of my Victron 5kVA MultiPlus. And this gives you the ability to charge uh, when there's no, no grid, for example, during load shedding here in South Africa, or um, if you're off-grid completely, obviously you'll be relying on the rest of the solar system. Fantastic to have uh, a second display to show you the status, a bit like um, a Color Connect or one of uh, Victron's other visual products, um, and to be able to have uh, multiple things that will be connected. Obviously lots of flexibility in terms of how you instigate charging. Um, this 
device also is a, uh, is three phase enabled, so you can get up to 22 kilowatts as opposed to 7.2 on a single um, phase connection. A um, couple of weeks in now using the device. Um, what I will do is create a part two of this video uh, with some direct comparisons between my existing charger, uh, EV charger, and this device. Pros and cons, a little bit more sort of user feedback. So if you like this video and uh, want to subscribe or, or you think I deserve a like, um, please follow the part two that will be out in a couple of weeks. And uh, initial thoughts are um, nice to have an untethered device if you want to mount this outside in uh, harsh conditions. Uh, good from sort of thrift point of view and that there's no cable attached. Um, once the lights are, you can program the, um, these ring lights. Once they're out, it's quite unobtrusive. Nice and robust, water, water um, resistant or, or um, IP42 uh, rated, IP6 I think it is, um, and um, good first user experience.